In this episode, we're checking out a really cool docking station for Samsung smartphone users that will help you get the most out of Samsung DeX. You've always been able to unlock DeX with pretty much any USB-C hub, but this dock makes it a little bit more on purpose. The dock features a ton of ports around the sides. First, we have two USB 2.0 ports, followed by HDMI for your monitor and USB-C for charging, and finally micro and full-size SD card slots and a USB 3.0 port. Altogether, what you have is the equivalent of a budget or even mid-range desktop experience. I combined the dock with a wireless keyboard and mouse and really enjoyed how seamless it was. Honestly, Apple really needs to release something like this, at least on the so-called Pro model iPhones. I was able to browse the web, use word processing, and even got Adobe Rush running, which seems like it would be great for basic video editing projects. Games are hit and miss, as they're usually developed for touch controls rather than a keyboard and mouse, but some work great. Other apps like YouTube and Netflix ran great also, although you may notice a slight resolution hit. Overall, this is a fantastic little dock that could be a compelling solution for Samsung users who need a desktop-like experience every now and then. If that's you, then I highly recommend picking up this dock. So overall, I think this is a really cool little docking station. Again, this is designed primarily for Samsung phones so you can use the DeX functionality in kind of the most on-purpose, professional type way as possible. I really like that it's really got everything you need. It's all in one device here, and there's really nothing I can knock it for. It holds your phone up, so it's a nice stand, so if you get notifications or anything, you can still interact with your phone. It charges at the same time, and then it's got all of these ports here, so you could do pretty much any productivity task on your Samsung device through the DeX mode. If you wanted to edit photos or do even some basic video editing again, because the functionality of your phone doesn't change, but these modern smartphones are pretty powerful in themselves. So if you needed to pull things off an SD card, you could do that. You've got several USB ports, so you can plug in a keyboard, mouse, it's got HDMI out, now, a limitation of Samsung DeX is that you can only run at 1080p, but that's still fine. So what I think this is really good for is, again, someone who, for whatever reason, just would rather a quick, easy setup. You can just drop your phone on there and you can do most basic functions that you would otherwise need a laptop. And I think if you paired this up with a portable monitor, there's a lot of those out there now, you've got a pretty powerful setup here. Now, it's a little bit clunkier than just using a laptop or something, but it just kind of depends what you've got to work with. I think this would also be great for like college students. If you don't necessarily have the budget for a laptop or just for whatever reason you don't want to get one and you already have a modern Samsung phone, then this is a great way to go. Again, you pair it with a monitor. You can pick up a cheap monitor pretty much anywhere. Keyboard, mouse, you already have your newer flagship Samsung. So now you've got it, you can write your papers, do whatever you want. All you need is something like this. Right now this runs a little over 30 bucks, so that's really not bad at all. Again, pair it with an inexpensive monitor, keyboard, mouse, you've got a pretty good setup right there. So again, I think this is a really great option for those folks who want to unlock the Samsung Dex functionality in a really cool package. My question for you guys is, who do you think this is best for? Like this kind of setup. You pair this with like a monitor, or something. Who do you think this is good for? Again, I'm thinking students who may not want to buy a laptop or something. I think this is a great way to go, but who do you guys think something like this is best for? Let everybody know down in the comments. If you guys have any other comments or questions, please do leave them down below. I try to get to every single one. If you'd like to get in touch, here's my social media links, which you can find down in the description as well. And last, before we go guys, if you enjoy straightforward to the point content like this, where we find great deals online, please make sure to leave the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Pretty easy and free ways to help support the channel. That's all I've got for you this time, guys. I'm Zach, this is Slick Reviews, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a comment down below and give the video a thumbs up. Here's some other videos that I think you'll really like. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos, and I'm on Facebook and Twitter as well. See you at the next one.